Elon Musk's level of ambition is truly unmatched. His company, SpaceX, has just completed the second orbital flight of Starship, creating a milestone that no rocket has matched or even only existed in the dreams of competitors. But as those companies have yet to figure out how to surpass that feat, this CEO once again shakes the entire rocket industry by revealing the latest version of Starship, simply another powerful monster version. So, what does the next generation Starship look like? What advantages will the new changes bring to SpaceX? Stay tuned as we get into this and lots more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Starship is a futuristic spacecraft designed to stack atop a towering super heavy rocket, forming the world's first fully reusable launch system. After undergoing many tests, Starship has been continuously refined and upgraded by SpaceX to become more and more comprehensive. It was already the largest and the most powerful rocket ever built. However, Elon Musk remains unsatisfied, and recently, he has revealed some of the boldest upgrades to create a new generation prototype called the Starship V2. Musk shared a photo of Starships inside the high bay, including S-28, S-29, S-30, and S-32, declaring four more Starships, the last of V1. This indicates that SpaceX will make changes to the Starship design and manufacture the next version of the vehicle in the near future. He also highlighted features of the new generation, stating, Version 2 of the Starship holds more propellant, reduces dry mass, and improves reliability. Although Elon Musk did not provide many details about the features of future Starship variants, based on his previous tweets, we can speculate on some possibilities for the new Starships. Future Starships may have three additional vacuum Raptor engines, and the spacecraft's size will be extended by at least 10 to 20 percent, as mentioned in Elon Musk's tweet in September this year. If the 20 percent longer development happens, then the stacked rocket will be 144 meters long. Adding 24 meters will be over 60 percent of the length of the Space Shuttle Orbiter, which was 37 meters long. The SpaceX Starship upper stage is 50 meters long. If this is made 20% longer, it would be 60 meters long. The space shuttle on the launch pad, with its external fuel tank and side boosters, was 56 meters tall. If the Starship payload area could be stretched by 10 meters, the payload volume would increase from 1,000 cubic meters to 1,800 cubic meters. If fuel in Starship increased, then the stretched payload volume might only increase to 1,400 cubic meters. Of course, increasing the length of the spacecraft implies the need to add more Raptor engines. The current spacecraft has six Raptors. Increasing the number of engines to nine with greater thrust will enhance the overall propulsion of the spaceship, allowing it to launch more payload into orbit. At stage separation close to vacuum, a stretched Starship with three sea-level optimized Raptors and six vacuum-optimized Raptors should produce at least 2,000 tons of thrust and possibly more than 2,250 tons, depending on engine performance. At that upper level of thrust, Starship, an upper stage, would be just 10% less powerful than the first stage of Falcon Heavy, the most powerful operational rocket in the world. Regardless of its thrust, dimensions, or weight, what matters most is how a stretched nine-engine Starship would impact that overall rocket's launch performance. If unofficial modelers are to be believed, the results are significant compared to a normal Starship with a six-engine upper stage and 33-engine booster, the stretch ship could theoretically boost the amount of payload the rocket can launch to low Earth orbit from about 150 tons to 220 tons or more, an almost 50% improvement than a shorter six-engine Starship. If those estimates are accurate, upgrading Starship with nine Raptors and stretching its tanks is a no-brainer. It might slow development and make all nine engine ships cost a substantial fraction more, but a 50% improvement in payload performance would significantly improve the efficiency of Starship's more ambitious Moon and Mars launch profiles, which require numerous orbital refuelings. A 50% payload increase would allow SpaceX to complete most refueling tasks more efficiently, quickly, and cheaply. Even if the upgrade plans mean that all Starships will be stretched and carry nine Raptors, Fully refueling the new Starship variant in LEO could require seven tanker launches instead of eight to ten. If SpaceX doesn't mind maintaining multiple distinct Starship variants, which appears to be the case, 
then ships that are exclusively dependent on refueling, Moon and Mars landers in particular, could stay at their current size, with around 1,200 tons of propellant storage and six Raptors. A fleet of upgraded starships could thus refuel their smaller siblings with just five to six tanker launches. However, there's a good chance that the extra mass required to stretch Starship around 5.5 meters or 4 tons is minor enough that SpaceX will stretch all Starship variants instead. The second generation Starship will also feature upgrades based on lessons learned from recent integrated flight tests and ground tests prior to launch. Expect improved and more secure welds in future Starship variants, with the possibility of super heavy rockets also receiving these design upgrades in the future. Currently, there are up to four Starships in production at Starbase, including Ship 33 and 34, which are being prepared for assembly and could be among the first to receive the upgrades. Not only increasing the size, but Elon Musk also needs to upgrade the Raptor engines for these new generation Starship prototypes. Elon Musk responded to a post about a Raptor engine video saying, I'm very excited about the next-gen Raptor engine that's robust enough not to require a heat shield, will also have more thrust, higher ISP, and many other improvements. Indeed, in both recent flights, Starship has utilized exclusively the Raptor V2 engines that SpaceX describes as having more power, fewer parts, making the engine lighter compared to V1. SpaceX has consistently carried out significant upgrades and extensive ground tests not only to enhance reliability to replace the less reliable first-generation Raptors, but also to use it as a stepping stone towards a new engine generation, Raptor V3. Elon Musk revealed this version of Raptor with greater thrust, higher specific impulse, and various improvements compared to its predecessors. Notably, it'll be powerful enough to eliminate the need for a heat shield. In this context, the heat shield acts like the panels under the rocket vehicle's engines, protecting the engine components from heat when one of them explodes during testing or launch. However, they also contribute a significant weight for Starship to bear. Therefore, eliminating the heat shield will not only help the engine become more compact, but will also facilitate easier engine installation and faster large-scale production compared to previous versions. As the Raptor engine becomes lighter, the overall weight of Starship will also decrease. SpaceX conducted the first three tests of Raptor in May with its thrust achieving a record. Regarding the Raptor V3's increased power, let's compare it to the Saturn V, the rocket that propelled NASA Apollo astronauts to the lunar surface. It generated 7.6 million pounds of thrust. With 33 Raptor engines, Starship could surpass the Saturn V to become the world's most powerful rocket, even though one Raptor engine has less thrust than one F1 engine. However, Saturn V is no longer operational. NASA developed a new rocket called Space Launch System, which generates a maximum thrust of 8.8 .8 million pounds. NASA says the operational rocket exerted more power than any rocket ever when it lifted off in November 2022. But SpaceX's Starship and Super Heavy dethroned the SLS as soon as it reached space with its capability to generate 19.5 million pounds of liftoff. Besides, simplifying engines also makes manufacturing and repairing engines easier and more cost-effective. Like Elon Musk said, the best part is no part. To date, SpaceX has been able to produce a Raptor engine every 24 hours at a cost of only about a million per engine, or even 200,000 if it's mass-produced. They are designed to be reused up to 100 times. Those are crazy numbers that no aerospace company would dare to think of. Fast and cost-effective production, repair and refurbishment will be extremely important for SpaceX with far away and expensive missions like colonizing Mars. Truly worth looking forward to this monster engine of Starship. SpaceX is sure to conduct more tests in the near future, and perhaps we can witness the immense power of this engine in the next orbital flight. In general, the specifics of the Starship's future development were not thoroughly analyzed. But Elon once stated, there's a tremendous bias against taking risks. Everyone is trying to optimize their ass covering. This means as long as even a 1% chance of risk remains, SpaceX is likely to find ways to develop an upgrade while striving for the highest possible level of reliability. SpaceX knows no bounds, only perseverance and relentless effort. That's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.